So I went to Harbor Freight today, bought a new airbrush. Something's got to work, right? So this is actually the model that Alan Hops at Stilt B Studios recommends as a general purpose uh, airbrush to do coverage and stuff like that. Probably he's not going to do great detail or anything. I want to make sure that I'm just not wasting my time. So I got this one. It's 10 bucks. I'm not going to be painting so many masks that I need such a professional uh, setup here. But I think to have the right equipment at the right time is always uh, beneficial. I set up the new airbrush and tested it out and it didn't work. <laughs> Still couldn't get any paint to come out. I was like, all right, there's got to be something going on here. I then thinned out the paint because uh, it, was it was suggested uh, by Diablo that maybe the paint was still too thick. So I thinned it out even more. Still didn't work. So what I did next was I swapped out this mini compressor. This is the one I had been using, which is supposed to be for, it's an oilless airbrush compressor. <laughs> okay, it's supposed to be for this purpose. It said it was getting 60 PSI. I swapped it out for my uh, uh, pancake compressor and tested it out. And it works. I just think there wasn't enough pressure coming up. I've made up some new paint I'm going to try out. It's uh, more of a, a little slightly darker flesh tone than what the uh, base was. So it's a mix of the paint, the latex, and the distilled water. And I thinned it out just a little bit more. And I try and do it on the uh, arms and see how it turns out. Maybe a little too watered. <laughs> but I'm thinking the flesh tone looks a little bit better. So, looks a little too watered down to me. So. This paint has been strained as well, just to make sure that there was no uh, thick latex. And I used the new latex that I bought yesterday. It tells you not to fill it more than uh, two thirds full. I'm about halfway full here. Seems to be going on a little bit better. Still a little watery, I think. But you know what? It's working at least. <laughs> I think you can see that this one has a more natural thing. Should still be a little bit darker. Maybe go over with the second coat. But I'm going to do the other, uh, do the arm and the head first with this uh, browner color. All right, with this one, this one here, I mixed up a slightly darker color. I think that's getting closer to uh, a more natural look. Now I'll do the mask. And I'm going to put a, another coat on the first arm that I did. Okay, I think these hands have a pretty good uh, color to them. So I'm not gonna do much more with these. Happy enough with it as it is. So I can attach these hands now to the uh, uh, prop. Before I do that though, I'm gonna check out the mask and see if it needs another coat. I do think it it's gonna need another coat. It's not very uniform. It's a little bit darker on this side, a little bit lighter over here. I'll give it another shot. All right, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna let that dry. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go attach the arms. I've marked off a spot here. It's 42 inches off the ground on both sides. And that's where I'm going to attach the arms. So I'm gonna pre-drill some holes. And screw it in place. Now 
I'm probably going to need to find a smaller uh, barrel basket box. Just want to test out something. This is <laughs> wedged in there pretty tight. <clears throat> I'm going to drill the hole for the uh, head to sit in there. While it's centered side to side, I've actually set it back slightly from the front of the shoulders. So I found that heads that tend to be centered just don't look right. So I'm going to try going back a little bit. And just for shits and giggles, I'm going to get the head and stick it on. And I'll get a connector down here to lock it in place. I don't know, but I think these arms can come up a little bit higher. I was basing it on me. But he seems a little tall. Maybe I need to cut down some more of this foam. Use the saw to cut it down a little bit more. And then I ran it over with the sander to get <clears throat> smooth it out and bring it down even further. There. And that actually brings it down, I think, better. Yeah, I think these arms are just a little too low, so I'm going to bring them up. All right. Now I just got to find a box that matches that. So a lot of today was taken up with getting the new airbrush and also testing out how it worked and whether it was going to work and what the problems were. We got these, uh, got the arms painted. We got the base coat on the mask painted. So I'm going to take him back inside and tomorrow I'll end up uh, detailing the face and also starting to apply the chicken wire to the form so we can do the monster mud over the top. All right, if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already do so. That way, you'll be notified when content like this is posted. Okay, thanks for watching. So what I did next was tangled up my airbrush in the wires. I'm putting them right back in the same hole. <laughs>